welcome to marriage and life stories with Kansi Me. It's a beautiful day once again, and uh, I am so happy to be on your screens once again as we talk about uh, marriage issues and the things that make us better. Before we dig deep in, I will kindly ask you if you've been blessed by the videos that I post, if you like the information that I put there, please subscribe and, and like. Uh, it will add a lot of value to me and it gives me the energy to do much more than I have been doing. Today we are looking at wild expectations that couples have normally in marriage. What are those things that um, people think about that when they are married they are expecting and in actual sense these are really wild expectations. Let's start with a man first. Normally when a man marries, he thinks he has married a maid, he thinks he has married a cook, he thinks he has married a laundry girl, he thinks he has married a runaround girl. Well, sir, before you got married to this girl, you were cooking for yourself, you are washing your clothes, you are running your own errands. So what makes you think that all of a sudden, Someone must, must cook your food. Someone must wash your clothes. Someone must, you know, like must even wash your, your underwears. The things you've been doing for yourself. I can tell you that the things a girl will do because she loves you and she wants to give that extra to you as her friend. But if you make it your entitlement, I am so sorry, the girl will be disappointed and your marriage is not going to be good. And so stop being entitled. Just make this girl your friend that she'll be able to do all the things that you want her to do for you. And then it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt for someone you know, to bring a maid to cook. It doesn't hurt to have someone wash your clothes. It doesn't hurt buying a, a washing machine and you both do the washing. But if you're forcing her to do it against her will, I am sorry, your marriage is not going to be good. Now remember that you marry not because uh, you want someone to do your work. The Bible says you marry because she is a companion, she is your helper. Now, someone being your helper, it means you do everything. She only helps you when you need that extra hand. Well, that's what the Bible says. She is just your helper. And so when you make your helper the main person, then it becomes difficult. So get it out of your mind. She's not your maid, she's not your cook, she's not your laundry girl, she is your companion. Let's come to the ladies. Ladies, what makes you think that now that you are married, you are going to have someone to take care of all your bills? What is he paying you for? Why can why do you wake up every day and you want him to buy the food, you want him to buy every household, you want him to do the investment, you want him to pay the children's fees, you want everything. Did you marry an ATM machine? Okay, ATM, tomato teller machine. So I shouldn't add on the other machine. Did you marry an did you marry an ATM? No. The gentleman is not an ATM. You are supposed to be his helper. For Christ's sake, you are supposed to be his helper. Now, if both of you are working and you're earning money, sit down and agree on the things that you both can contribute about. For instance, if he's paying the children's fees, why can't you buy the clothes? If he's buying the, the food in the house, why can't you pay the cook, the, the maid? If he's buying you clothes and everything, once in a while, think about something special that he needs. A good shirt, a good trouser, a good suit, good socks, and you buy them. You cannot expect a man to be there taking care of you even when you yourself are earning. Before he married you, you were working and taking care of himself, of, of yourself. And so don't make it a burden for him that he has to steal, he has to forge, you know, reports, he has to forge accounts just because he got married. 
I know many men lose it when they get married. They they become you know so depressed and so so corrupt and so everything simply because they have to take care of the wife. Now I tell you, please don't force your man to do that. Don't force your man to steal. Don't force your man help each other. Okay, those are two wild expectations. A man expects uh, so much from a woman. The woman expects so much and from the lady. The other world expectation is that the gentleman expects to be served like a king. Now that has two points. Yes, he is the king and he should be treated like a king. And no, he's your companion. He should be treated like a companion. Now the balance in between there is what we need the wisdom to deal with. Number one, you treat someone like a king who treats you like a queen? What do I mean? He has bought the food. He has bought the good plates in the house. Why can't you cook that good food and supply it on the table for the king? Why can't you, you know, put in so much energy to make sure that everything that a king needs is served to your husband? And you know, if he is not appreciative of your work, it becomes difficult to treat him like a king. If he has not bought the food, the lady will not have any energy to come and treat you like a king. You know, she's stressing, she's buying the children's clothes, she's paying their fees, she's even paying the house rent, and then you want her to treat you like a king? No, you cannot get it. So ladies, don't expect to be treated like a queen if you cannot treat him like a king. And gentlemen, don't expect to be treated like a king if you are not treating her like a queen. They provide for the queen to serve the king. Are we together? Okay. One other expectation. If there is anyone to leave the job for the sake of the children and everything, it has to be the woman. The men expect her to give up her career, they expect her to give up her dreams, they expect her to give up practically everything about her that she ever thought about just because she has been married. She, you expect her to change the clothes she has been wearing, you expect her to change her friends, you expect her to change the way she deals with her people, that is very unfair, very unfair. And even the ladies, you expect the man to change completely, cut his friends, change the people he talks to, change the car he drives, change his relationship with his parents, change, change, change. Now, both of you, ladies and gentlemen, that's a wild expectation. When you marry someone, you marry that person that you love. The moment you choose to make her to change, change who she is, change the people she deals with, change the people that she loves, change practically everything about her, I am so sorry. She's going to be a different person. She's going to be a different person. And when she, she turns out to be a different person from the one that you married, I am so sorry, things will not be very good for you. That relationship is not going to work out so well. So how do I conclude? Gentlemen, the women are not your maids, they are not your laundry girl, they are not your cooks, they are not your, your runaround girls, they are your companion. Ladies, the men are not your ATM machines, they are not your defender when you are doing so many things, they are not your, your, your warriors to keep attacking people on your behalf. They are your husband and treat them like that. And with all that, let's learn, let's grow, let's make our, our expectations realistic. And please remember to subscribe. Remember to like if this video is interesting for you and give me more energy to churn better videos for you. God bless you.